Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this quick video today, I'm going to show you how you can run Llama V2 13 billion parameter model on your local machine. And I'm not just going to show you how you can run it on Ubuntu, but also on a Mac computer if you have an M1 or M2 Mac. Today we will be using llama.cpp. So I've already shown you how you can do the same with text generation inference, which is a hugging face library. And today we are going to use llama.cpp. Llama.cpp is a library which is a port of Facebook's Llama model in CC++ and installing it is very easy. Uh, it's very easy to set everything up using llama.cpp and uh, the model works quite, quite fine. And you can just set it up locally and you can uh, probably replace paid solutions like ChatGPT. And llama.cpp supports OSX Linux, Windows, and yeah, there is also a Docker container and there's like different models which are supported. So you can try them out. It's very easy to uh, install llama.cpp. So, but to, to use this, you need models which are in GGML format. So we already have a user called the bloke which who's converting a lot of models to GGML format. And we can just use this today. Uh, this is the port of Llama 2.13b, the chat version, and exactly uh, our use case for today. So I'm just going to see like which file to use. So we are going to be using this file. And um, to, to start with, the first step that you have to do is you have to first clone the repository, which is the llama.cpp repo. So you, I'm going to my terminal now. So I'm first I'm going to show you in OS X. Um, so here I am in my terminal. So this is my uh, SSH machine and this is my local machine, which is a Mac. Um, so all you have to do is clone the repo. So git clone uh, the path to the repository. And once this is done, you can make, you just have to run the make command. So make, and uh, before that, you have to add llama metal equal to one. If you do that once, so I have all, since I've already made this once, I will just do make clean, ampersand ampersand, so I'm making it again. And this is this process is not going to take a lot of time. This is quite fast. So uh, let's hope it's done fast. Okay, going on. Um, and then we can uh, run the model. So we have to download the model too. So here, if I, if I go here, uh, we have the GGML v3 Q40. So if I go to files and version, I have the same file. And then here I can just click on download or click copy the link and I can download it. So to download the file, all you have to run is the wget command. So now um, llama cpp is compiled. Now I can just run the command wget and here is my file name, um, the bloke llama 213 bchat ggml. And once this is downloaded, now we can uh, run uh, using the main built. So now you have this executable. And if you do minus minus help, it's going to show you all all kinds of um, arguments. So minus i is for interactive minus ins is instruction mode. So this is what we are going to use today. Uh, then you have many other different parameters so like colorize the inputs to distinguish from the generations. And then you have top K, top P, uh, you have temperature, uh, CFG scale, smoothing factor, these kind of things. So you can, if you want to, you can, and you should play around with different parameters. So here I have copy pasted some other parameters. So I have NGL equal to one. Uh, so that's how many layers it's offloading to the GPU and uh, minus N is 
the number of tokens. So if you keep it then at, at minus one, it's going to keep generating. Okay, so uh, there, there was one more parameter. Uh, yeah, so here I'm providing a prompt file. So we can also take a look at what's inside this prompt file. So this, this is actually, this is what exactly is inside the prompt file. So below is an instruction that describes a task. So I can just write hi now. Okay, that's quite fast. Uh, can you write a Python code to convert a list of list to flat list? Let's see how much time it takes. Should be quite fast. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's generating <laughs> tokens super fast and it's running on my Mac computer. So it's not even using the GPU. Uh, yeah, so this is quite good answer. And now I can show you how you can do the same in Ubuntu. So for Ubuntu, if you want to use GPU, you have to add another parameter called Llama Qblast. So let me just clear this, make clean and Llama Qblast like one make minus J. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think it's not able to find NVCC. So let me export Conda prefix and LD library path. Ah, okay. So I also need to activate the Conda environment since I've installed everything using Miniconda. And now it should work. Okay, now it's working, it's building, and then we can run it. So to run this, I'm just going to run it on one single GPU, and here I'm also watching the GPU usage. So the build is done. I uh, here I have the same parameters except NGL is 128, and let's run it. So total VRAM used uh, eight, eight gigabytes. So yeah, here it's using around 10 GB of uh, video memory and it's super fast. So can you tell me how to make butter chicken at home? See the speed and it's a 13 B parameter model. So that, that's how you run it on your local machine. And I think I'm going to cancel my ChatGPT subscription after this um, and just use it locally. So anyways, if you like the video, do click on the like button, do subscribe and tell your friends about it and see you in the next one. Goodbye.